Israel has a right to self-defense, but this does not extend to indiscriminate killing of civilians or mass displacement of entire populations, said Home Affairs and Law Minister K. Shanmugam. Collective punishment is also illegal, he said, in the context of what is now happening in Gaza. Mr. Shanmugam said in a Facebook post on November 18, the scale of the tragedy in Gaza is immense. Thousands being killed. Devastation on this scale is very difficult to accept. The Israel-Hamas war started on October 7, when Hamas militants attacked Israel and killed 1,200 people, who were mostly civilians, and took 240 hostages. The Israeli strikes that followed have hit those living in Gaza hard, with more than 12,000 people killed, of which 5,000 were children. Mr. Shanmugam's comments were in response to a November 11 opinion piece by retired senior diplomat Bilahari Kausikan that was published by The Straits Times. In Hard Truths About Gaza War's Cruel and Complex Dilemmas, Mr. Kausikan said that Singaporeans should not dismiss the depth of the trauma inflicted by the barbarism of the October 7 attack. This cannot be justified by any reason, he said. The resulting response from Israel was certainly not a war of revenge, and that it was exercising its inherent right to self-defense, to restore deterrence. Restoring deterrence is an existential issue for Israel. Deterrence based on military superiority is one of the pillars on which Israel's right to exist has rested from its very foundation, said Mr. Kausikan. Mr. Shanmugam noted that while Mr. Kausikan had condemned Hamas' actions, the opinion piece does not emphasize the illegal actions by the Israeli government over many years. This included establishing settlements in the West Bank and in essence, preventing a two-state solution. It also does not deal with the severe restrictions that had been imposed on the population of Gaza, in effect denying any hope to the Palestinians, added Mr. Shanmugam. The truth is that Israeli government actions have been contrary to international law and oppressive to the Palestinians. One can say this while also accepting that parts of the Palestinian leadership has acted very badly, seeking the complete wipeout of Israel. Both the Israeli and Palestinian leadership are responsible for the current situation and the peace process not progressing, said Mr. Shanmugam. He also highlighted the November 18 opinion piece in the Straits Times by lawyer and community leader Ahmad Ferdowsdad. Israel's actions in Gaza have been disproportionate. Mr. Ferdows noted that most of what Mr. Kausikan wrote was factual, but took issue with his characterization of Israel's actions in Gaza. It omitted key considerations under international law and does not reflect the principled approach taken in Singapore's national position on this issue, said Mr. Ferdows who works with interfaith initiative Roses of Peace to advocate for peace and social harmony in Singapore. To maintain our credibility on the international stage and to ensure social cohesion, we should refrain from rhetoric that encourages violence or rationalizes breaches of international law. And make clear our commitment to fairness and the principles of international norms, he said. Mr. Shanmugam said that Mr. Ferdows helps him on and off at his Meet the People sessions. As the war continues, meanwhile in Singapore, the Kong Meng San Foh Kak Si Monastery has donated $50,000 to Romitan Lil Alamin Foundation for People in Gaza. Mr. Shanmugam said, very heartening. This is Singapore.